Yo man, so first thing I want to say is I'm not really looking for any kind of consolation or anything because I'm going to be talking about an injury. Not really looking for any comments saying sorry man or even, you know, encouragement's fine. Just because um, when we play basketball we sign up for injury, right? That's what we sign up for. Um, who's not getting injured, right? I mean, obviously we try to minimize it and we try to have good recoveries and that's really what this video is about because I know you're watching this, you're a basketball player, you're injured now or you've been injured and you're going to be injured again. It's just the way it is. No matter what level it is, um, our ability to succeed as basketball athletes is our ability to minimize and pr recover properly, properly from injuries. So, what's going on with me? Um, Christmas Day, um, you know, so many friends back in town and a lot of, you know, all, you know, all the athletes or whatever wanted to go play a touch football game. Christmas Day, so I went out there, figured I'd run around on the field, you know, and this is what I try to do a lot of, is run around barefoot outside, um, even in the winter, I double sock it up, and it just feels good, I um, mean, it'll get me feeling sore, but I feel like it just makes me just such a better athlete, as I can move faster, and all that. Anyways, basically in the two on, the, the touch game, which is, I realize there's really no such thing as like two hand touch football, just because like, if I'm trying to make a tackle on a 6'3", 230-pound guy who's pretty fast and is coming at me, like, I need to slow myself, right? So, like, I mean, it's, I, I need to make the touch, but it's just, like, it's just dangerous. It's still dangerous, right? I'm not trying to take him to the ground, I'm trying to initiate contact, slow us both down, get out of there, not injured or whatever. But some play completely off the ball. I had a knee to knee with, I don't know, another receiver or something. Knee to knee, and I played like one more play before I realized that it was an issue. Um, and I even played um, pick up soccer yesterday, and it felt all right when I was playing. And I've, you know, I've been walking. Well, basically, I'll talk about the injury and why I'm doing the things I'm doing. So basically, I just took a knee to the patellar right in here, knee head on. So it's really tender to the touch. There's some swelling here. And the patellar, this is just used in going, you know, this motion. There's going to be pain in it, especially if there's weight bearing. So my ability to squat right now is horrible because my right leg, honestly, I depend on it more than the left. So I think this will be good for me as it's going to force me to get better and stronger with the left, if possible. I mean, I think there's cartilage damage to the left, and I don't really want to get surgery or look into getting surgery. So we'll see what happens with that even though the left is pretty pain free, it's just weak descending. My ability to get down to the ground right now sucks. My ability to sit down. Um, anyways, so this, this injury, I'm not too concerned about it. I bet it will take a while to recover, but um, I think that my knee will be good as new. Maybe I'll feel some pain in it sometimes. Um, but basically, like, I'm not really worried about any kind of the ligaments. Maybe there would be cartilage damage, but I mean, there's no ACL, there's no MCL. There's no LCL, anything. It just bam right in the kneecap, and it's sore as fuck. But I'll see what I can do. As for how to treat it, um, I mean, it's swelling, and I can tell it's swelling. And all swelling means is, um, and I'm fine with swelling. I want there to be swelling. I'm trying to clear the swelling because swelling means the goods are coming in, the groceries are coming in. I want to get the garbage out, which means I want to cycle through the swelling. I want I want as much stuff coming in and exiting as possible, right? I don't want to delay that. I don't want to stop that with icing. Um, I mean, basically, the way the human body works is the way that we clamp, the way that we clear lymphatic fluid, which is what this groceries in type fluid swelling is. The way that we clear it is through movement, uh, muscle activation. So I'm even even though it's painful to do certain activities, I'm trying to move as much as possible. I'm trying to work out as much as possible. Um, be on the treadmill, get in the pool, just move around. Um, and what that does is just clears clears the fluid and try to do thing try to not do things that cause pain. Um, working on descending on the left leg, you know, p basically pistols with the left pistol squats, and I should be fine. And if it's never the same, well, fuck it, man. I'll get stronger anyways. It'll, it's just an obstacle. It's just basketball. It's just a game. I can't get too hung up on it because I know injuries are gonna happen. That's the way basketball is. Um, 
And yeah, so basically I just share this as as I recover and when I do recover. Um, just want to let you guys know how I think that you should recover from injuries um, based on my research, right? I am um, not looking for consolation. I'm not looking for a pat on the back. I feel fine about it. I accept it. It's not a big deal. Um, um, uh, but for those of you guys who are going through injuries or are going to go through injuries, maybe this will help you in your recovery. Um, and yeah, mentally and physically. So peace out. Much love to energy efficient basketball. And wish everyone the best.